Hi everybody, this is Dave from St. Louis. Uh, still working on the 87 Monte Carlo um, with the Lambo doors. Um, we've got the, got the clear coat on here. Um, had a problem with the uh, door jack. As you can see, this works nice and steady. Um, the clear coat turned out like no nobody's business, man. I, I tell you what, that, that's a that's what my grandma's used to say, nobody's business. But uh, there's still a little orange peel on there. I'm gonna have to wet sand it some more, some certain areas. But uh, I start off with the 2003 M, and then I moved up to the 2500. Uh, I didn't start with the 1500 because I, I didn't want to have to deal with those heavy heavy scratches. But that house of color paint, man, it, it just comes out, comes out, comes out. It, it just it's so translucent. Now I don't know if you can see the green, um, the little accent striping that the artist put in there, Phil, Phil Jarvis, but you know at first I wasn't crazy about the green. I was thinking why would you put green on flames? You know it's a black car, burgundy interior, flames, hot rod flames, green. To me that I don't know where the green came from, but you know what um, I complained a lot about it, but it really don't look that bad. I, I guess I kind of like it, so Anyway, so see what you think. I'm gonna also show you uh, after the sanding, I hit it with the the rubbing compound and the wool pad. Wool pad. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with. Velcro back on and off, easy, quick, and dependable. Now the buffing is the easy thing. Um, the wet sanding, on the other hand, is not so easy. It's easy, but it's just it's monotonous and it's it's just continuous it's just you gotta keep on keeping on this rubbing compound I was using the 05973 this works really good you can hear my dog over there yeah boy um, the rubbing compound the perfect it it uh, it worked real well with the wool pad and then I came back with the the purple stuff it's got the purple bottle easy to find 3M perfect it um, just to give you an idea, the the, uh, the rubbing compound was 1995. Now this is about a year old. I also use it on my boat, and uh, so I had it left over from another project. Thank goodness, because it's not cheap. After you, you know, by the time you buy the buffing pads and, and the compound and such, you're going to have 100 bucks wrapped up in it. Um, this was 32.95 for a quart of it. But you know, a quart's going to more than do a car. You're going to have some left over. I would say a quart. Um, you probably do a couple cars, you know, just depending on how much you use, but um, it'll last you, so if you get it, it'll last. And, and I think they even sell them in smaller bottles, but I'm not for sure about that. I, I think so, though. So I'm going to bring you up a little closer. You can kind of see. I don't know if the uh, video camera does any justice, but I was just kind of blown away by it. Um, and, you know, you, you sand and sand and sand, and it has that chalky look, and then you hit it with the the, pound, the compound and it brings it back and then once you hit it with the the polishing pound compound it, it you really 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 got the the shine you're looking for so I don't know if you can see the the green stripes with the light kind of see that it fades and then the white, this is all house of color. That's uh that's snow white pearl in the beginning, in the front there. And uh the, the yellow is uh they call it pagan gold. And then it's uh the tangerine, can candy tangerine, and then the apple candy from House of Color. And you can see the reflections and stuff. It is really nice stuff. I'll take you over the the nose piece. I'm still got to do a lot, of, not a lot of work, but I cleared it out and I wasn't happy with. There was a few blemishes. wasn't really happy with it, so started over. You know what are you gonna do? This side, you know, I, I haven't got this cleared yet. It's got the intercoat clear on it, so I had to let the uh, the green was an enamel, so I had to let that set up for two weeks. Pete mentions that in one of his videos. If I wouldn't have done that, my whole paint job would have been ruined. So thanks, Pete, for that that little tip. I, I did it on a pie pan just to see what it would do, and the, the paint wrinkled up like it just wrinkled up. So thanks for that tip, Pete. You saved me a lot of money, time, and uh, effort. So that's all for today, guys. Um, 